Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe opened the year's first session of the lower house of parliament with a progress report on Japanese foreign policy. He earlier talked about his domestic and foreign policy intentions for 2016 during his New Year press conference. Our Shin Jimei has more. A positive outlook for relations with China. Abe told the parliament that more exchanges will be established between the two sides. The China-Japan relationship is based on a strategic and mutually beneficial relationship, and it is currently improving. We have agreed that this is necessary to improve upon this concretely, and we have agreed to additional foreign ministerial level visits and high-level economic dialogues to be set as early as possible. Meanwhile, Abe said ties between Japan and South Korea would also enter a new chapter, as the two sides have reached an agreement on their dispute over wartime sex slavery. Abe still said Japan will work closely on its international relations and take a lead in facing the various issues the world is facing. Earlier in the day, Abe held his New Year press conference. The Prime Minister said he is not planning to dissolve the lower house of parliament, nor is he eyeing a snap election. He did, however, note that stepping up constitutional reform is a focal point for 2016. On the economic front, Abe pledged to defeat deflation. We have put the utmost priority on the economy for these three years. We're still halfway, but we have created a situation that is no longer seen as deflation. Abe said he is looking to forge a peace treaty with Russia, and he expects to build on the momentum of the China-Japan-South Korea summit and convene a three-way foreign ministers meeting very soon. Japan will host a Group of Seven summit in May. He said the gathering would be key to addressing global economic issues. Xin Jiaming, CCTV.